Hi and welcome. This is part 5 of replication series. In this video, we are going to discuss about merge replication in SQL Server. Before we proceed to the video, if you have visited my channel for the first time, please do subscribe my channel for more videos and also hit the bell icon to get notified of the upcoming videos. And also, I would recommend you to watch part 2, 3 and 4 in the series. I will leave link in the description, you can watch it from there. So, let us proceed to our video. What is a merge replication? This is a bidirectional replication which allows changes to happen at both publisher and subscriber. Which means both the publisher and subscriber are allowed to make changes independently and then merge the results. Just like transactional replication, initial synchronization is done by applying the snapshot. When a transaction occurs at publisher or subscriber, the change is written to the change tracking tables and then the merge agent checks these tracking tables and sends the transaction to the distribution database where it gets propagated. So uh, we have seen what is a snapshot agent, but in merge replication we have a new agent which is called a merge agent. This merge agent tracks changes through triggers on published tables and it has also the capability of resolving conflicts that occur during data changes. So what is this merge agent? This is used with merge replication which applies initial snapshot as I said and then uh, it moves and reconciles incremental data changes that occur. Each merge subscription has its own merge agent that connects to both publisher and the subscriber and updates both. It runs at the either a distributor or subscriber based upon your subscription. If it is push subscri subscription, it will run at, run at the distributor. If it is a pull subscription, it will run at the subscriber. It collects all data from different sites and store into distribution database for processing of data. Okay. So, this is how it uh, flows. This is your publisher database and subscriber database. Here you have a merge agent. So, it takes changes from the change tracking tables and applies or records into the distribution database. From distribution database, it will be given to the subscriber. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to see the configuration steps. These are the steps I am going to perform in the demo. So, without wasting time, let us quickly jump into the demo. Here are my three servers or instances. First one is my publisher distributor and subscriber. First let me configure distributor. Go here and configure distribution. Next. Next. This is very simple. We have already seen in previous uh, sessions how to configure distribution and all. So I am just going it forward. So distribution is configured successfully. You can check here. In system databases, you will have your distribution database. Now, go to your publisher and configure your publication. So, here I don't have any publication. Just right click on this local publication and select new publication. Click next. So, it will act as its own distributor or you want to use another server as distributor. See, I have another server A102 as distributed, so I am adding it. Okay, this is not enabled as publisher at the distributor. Contact administrator to enable this server as distributor. Okay, so we have not added this server as publisher. So let me go to this distributor properties. Publishers add this uh, this server your publisher server here. Okay, you need to specify the password and you need to give this password when you are connecting it from the other server. Okay, I'm done now. 
create your publication next okay now it will ask you to enter the password okay so select your uh, database so th this is my database merge demo i'm going to create a publication click next so what kind of publication it is it is merge publication so you can see publisher and subscribers can update the published data independently after the subscribers receive an initial snapshot of the published data changes are merged periodically click next so if your sql server if you are using sql server 2008 or later select this option so my sql server version is 2016 so i am okay to go with first option next so in that i am having two tables customer table and orders table so if you see here i don't have any primary key here in any of the table columns but i i can select any table because merge what merge replication will do is it will add another column with data type row guid that can be used for data synchronization so here i am going to select all the tables that two tables and if you want to specify any properties like uh, any article set properties so you can choose your option as per your requirement from here like primary key constraint key and all and if you see there is another uh, tab here which is resolver so this we'll discuss later this will be used for resolving your conflicts okay so conflict resolution and all we'll discuss later okay so first we will go with the configuration part next so you can see unique identifier columns will be added to the tables so by adding this row guid column to the tables it will cause insert statement without column list to fail and increase the size of the table and it will also increase the time required to generate the first snapshot okay next you can filter the table rows from here you want to create a snapshot immediately yes i want to create i don't want to schedule it right now i'll do it later click next snapshot agent security settings so here you need to give the account that have uh, administrator privileges or the required permissions okay give the password okay next create the publication yes i want to create publication name okay and finish my publication is created close it now you can see there is one publication added but this publication is not having any subscribers subscribing to it so let us create a subscriber or a subscription right click here and new subscription next select your publisher in this publisher this is my database and in that database i have only one publication next i'm going with push subscription here choose your subscriber A one zero three is my subscriber. Connect. This is connected. So select the database subscription database. This is I am going to select this database merge demo two. Go next. Here you need to give the account your account that have sufficient privileges. Okay. Go next. and here you can choose the synchronization schedule if you want to run on demand only then you need to go back to your replication monitor and you need to manually run the job then only the changes are merged otherwise it will not merge so here i want to go with run continuously so then if i select this option no need to go manually and uh, do the changes 
it will do it automatically because it will run continuously click next so here initialize immediately yes memory optimize initialize okay so here subscription type so a103 is my is my server it's not a client if you if you have any client you can go with this option client so i'm going with server only and the priority for config resolution so uh, as i told no we'll discuss about this merge replication conflict in later sessions for now we'll proceed create subscription and finish and subscription is also created okay so you can see now verify the data this is at node 1 which is a101 so i have orders table this is our data the same thing we have to verify whether we have got the all the tables or not so database name is demo2 let me launch the replication monitor and check if you remember our initial initial synchronization will take some time because it will add row guid to the uh, table it is synchronizing you can see here so initialization yeah it is applied now let me go and check yeah the data has not yet come i have done the refresh again and the data has come now you see the row guid column is added to the table i have not added this manually but the merge publication has added it okay so let me try to delete or add one row at the node one or at the publisher and let's see whether it takes the changes at the subscriber or not okay so here is my database table this is my orders table right edit 200 rows this i am doing it at a101 node okay so 58696 okay okay now let's verify at node 1 we will have three records and when i go to node 3 which is my subscriber i should have three records right data is still not refreshed now i have got the data so i have this orders table edit this top 200 rows so this time i'm going to delete one record from the table the first record i'm going to delete it the laptop uh, product i'm deleting it yes the record is deleted now now let's go and check here this is node 3 this record we have deleted if you refresh you will have only two records Okay, we have only two records now we have made changes at the subscriber now let's see whether the changes have been taken at the publisher or not which is our node one let me execute the query and let's see whether this record has been deleted at the publisher or not yes the record has been deleted so 
this way I can say that changes have been replicated between publisher and subscriber in both directions. But let us assume there is a case where we have uh, more than one subscriber, like, let us say three or four subscribers and uh, all the subscribers are updating the record, same record at the same time. There occurs a case of conflict. Which subscriber changes are taken and applied to other nodes in case of conflict? So this part we'll discuss later. If you want me to make a video on merge replication conflict resolution, you can please comment on the below. I'll try to make it. Okay. So what are the cases? Where do we use this merge replication? These are some of the scenarios. Where do we use merge replication? Like multiple subscribers updating the same data at various times and propagate the, those changes to the publisher and to other nodes. And uh, or subscriber need to receive data and make changes offline and then later synchronize changes with the publisher and other subscribers. So each subscriber requires a different partition of data. Conflict might occur and when they do, you need the ability to detect and resolve those conflicts. If the application requires net data change rather than access to intermediate data states, for example, if a row changed five times at the subscriber before it synchronizes, and that row will change only once at the publisher to reflect the net data change. So in these cases, we are going to use the merge replication. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos.